Hi everyone, it's Gail, and we are going to start on Raggedy Ann today. So we're going to get going on the cover first, and then we'll see how far we get on everything else. So let's say hi and hugs to Vanita, Maggie, Maria, and Robin. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay. I finally have the mojo going. So we are going to get started on this cover. I'm going to put my project tray over here. And um, gosh, first thing, I think we need to, need to do a little cleaning up here. Okay, I just need to take everything out of the cover. Okay, that over there. Gonna make a mess, at least at the beginning here. And I'm going to cut off this spine. Um, I don't know about you, but I keep these because you can, um, you can use them on grungy journals and they're kind of a fun little like decorative piece kind of yeah I keep them so let's see I'll set that over here okay so is that decently cleaned up maybe a little more here and there Just going to clean up the book boards here. This one needs a little bit too. Let's see, maybe if I go this way. Yep, just going to clean up the edges here and then we'll get to work on creating a spine. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Anything else will be covered up as we go. Okay, so there's our book boards. I was looking at her little face, some little kid drew on it. I was gonna see if I could get any of that off. Oh, I don't think it's gonna come off. I'll have to think about that if there's something I could do with that okay but if not it is what it is so first off I think what I want I think I want an inch and a half spine is what I'm looking at now I've got my big cutter and I have that because um why are you not sitting right oh I had you on my scissors that's why um it, it goes through thick. And I've got some thick chipboard here that I want to use as the spine if it will cut it. I'm going to get rid of that rounded bit. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay. Let's go this way. And I'm going to go inch and a half right along there okay oh wow that was not easy but i got it <laughs> okay now is this long enough is the question oh my goodness it's about just right how did i luck out with that i didn't even look Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. Don't need the big boy anymore. This is for another day, for another day and another project. Okay, so we have our spine, we have our book. So, it's close, but I think it's going to work okay. 
Okay, so what I think I'll do is line the book up on one of the lines on my mat so both sides are lined up the same. This guy is going to go right there. Push this over a little bit. Okay. All right. So that's that's where they're lined up. And then I have Tyvek, which this is just uh, an old envelope. And so I'm going to cut off this bit. it any thicker than the fabric that I have so I'm going to cut it right about here okay and I'm going to cut two of them just lay one on top of the other and kind of cut the second one Right, so that's all we need of that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda, actually, I think what I'm gonna do is cut these, cut these off here. They're kinda curled, so I'm just gonna get that off of there got a bit of tape on them but that doesn't matter that's just going to make it that much stronger so we're going to cut right about here all right we've got the right size now so again i'm actually going to cut this because it's curling from the kind of the fold of the envelope, I think. And I don't need that much. So I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to cut off just a skosh more here. Okay, are we good? Looks like we're pretty good. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac just because I feel like um, I don't know. I feel like it's the toughest of my glues just because it glues fabric. I, that's probably just my delusional self. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? So are you having a good day? Is it nice there? It's nice here. After I do my videos this afternoon, I'm going to go out and pick pine needles away, pick away. Still at that. I will be for days, but I don't know. The older I get, the more I find that I just have to do things in stages. You know, what I used to be able to do all at once, I have to do in stages just it's just how it is these days okay so just gonna smooth that on awesome okay now you should be able to pick it up but all in one fell swoop here now how wide are you okay I think I want to take a bit off of this as well that and then a bit off this end again and there we go should be pretty good okie dokie so let's glue this on this side
Yeah, I've really kind of had to search my room for things that might work in this journal. I, you know, not a lot of Raggedy Ann stuff just sitting around. That's, that's the truth of it. Okay, so... I just popped that on there. Good, good. Now... This is the fabric that I want to use to cover the spine. And my thought is, I think I'll use black thread to put the signatures in. With this fabric, that should, should be good. So I think what I'm going to do is wrap it around. Wrap it round. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get the length that I need here. See, I think that'll be cute. That'll be cute on there. Yep. And just wrap around here. So I just want to make sure that I have enough to overlap some. I just right there. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do the back first. So I'm going to just put glue. I'll come back and get some under the edges if we, if we need a bit more, but especially want glue on the, on the edge there. Okay. I'm going to go right about like that. Okay, I want to turn it over and just make sure that I wanted this to be able to see the R. on. Low on my Fabri-Tac. Gonna have to fill up my bottle again. Fill up my sugar bell. Down this way. Okay. Now. Okay, so there we have it. Book cover repaired. Okay. You know, I have some flesh colored markers I think I wonder if that would work there do you want to just talk amongst yourselves for a sec while I grab my markers I'll be right back
They're just on the other side of the table that's behind me. And so I can't really light flash Faber Castell. Let's see how that will work. Okay. Just gonna see if I can. Nope, that's not gonna do a doggone thing, unfortunately. Hmm. What about this one? This is Kaiser Fusion. I don't know. Nope. Well, she's just scarred up. That's all there is to it. Um, I do think, though, I want to take this and just kind of redraw her eyeball. Okay, that helped, I think. But little kid drawing is just, it is what it is. Okay. So now we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna think about pages. But let me see. Yeah, this is about six inches, so that's great. And that is nine. Yeah, it's about normal normal size that I make. So I'm gonna set that aside to dry. We'll see if we can bend it at the end of the video. Okay, what I have over here, first of all, I went through my scrapbook papers because I kind of wanted a heavier paper on the um, outside of the, I think I'm just gonna do two signatures in this. And so, so yeah. I thought these, these would go okay. This kind of, it kind of looks like her dress in a little way. And then this is similar colors. So I think we'll cut those to do on the outside of the signature. So let's cut this off at eight and a half. This right here. I'm gonna keep the pieces because we may incorporate the, the scraps into the book too. And then I'm going to Make this be 11. Okay. And same with this one. So let's go eight and a half. And 11. Now that those are 11, I want to score them at five and a half, just so they fold easier. Okay, five and a half. That'll be good. And this one too. Okay. All right, there's those two. Let's squish them down a little bit more. Okay, so those are going to be the outside of our signatures. I'm feeling, let's see, that one. Ooh, I like that, I think. So that's going to be first signature, second signature. Okay, 
Then, what have I grabbed here? Okay, well, we of course have our digitals. Okay, and then these are all gonna be like journal cards or whatever. Okay. This. This takes up the whole page and this does not, but oh well. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm thinking maybe since we've got this picture at the front, maybe that's a second signature thing. Okay, let's look at these and decide what would we like in the middle. This one with animals might be fun in the middle, and I'm feeling this one would be fun in the middle. So these are going to get folded this way. That one in the middle of the second signature. This one's going to be the middle of the first signature. And what would we like? I like this one for the first page. Okay. And then we'll just kind of go. And this one, and this one's kind of the odd man out. in the first one and then this piece of music that says children's games how awesome is that oh it needs to be needs to be washi taped because it's really crunchy very old very very old let's see um I'm just looking to see what I have. Actually, this Christmas one right here might end up being the one there. I do have a, a music one. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. What else do we have? <laughs> don't have a lot of primary colors, although this one is speaking to me. Let's do that one. It's about the right width, too, which is good. Let me get my glue stick. I guess I can get rid of Fabri-Tac now. i got glue everywhere. Let's see. Yeah, this would, this would be a good width. So, and good colors, I think. So, we'll just strengthen that a little bit. All right. Oops. go. That should do it. It's kind of pretty too, isn't it? I'm going to leave out that washi tape because that goes pretty nicely with this. Boy, that's really, I'm going to do the inside too. I wasn't going to, but it is Fred G. Latest paper.
Oh, we'll just see how far we get today. I just, I have, I have no expectations for us other than to get started on this little project. that will hold that a little bit but I mean how perfect was the name of this music I couldn't couldn't get something more perfect okay we'll put you right there Okay, and then what else have I grabbed out for the signature? I grabbed out a piece of yellow paper. I grabbed this out. It's bicycles, kid-like. This is from um, Triple V Vintage. It's the collaboration between Triple V Vintage and Vintage Studio 717. Pulled out this. I thought it went pretty well. I've got this red doily that we'll put in the in a signature. I wonder if I have another one for the second signature. Didn't think about that. I've got this uh, fabric flip and belly band from um, STL Finds by Lori and I thought it would go well have this wonderful colored piece of paper from my friend Betsy and this is from Betsy too I thought that would be good and just a piece of I don't know coffee or tea dyed paper here so let's see first of all let's check and see if I have another um, doily get my doilies out here another something that would be fun in there let's just look at that but that's kind of big how about paper baker creations this is from it's just one of these blue ones how about Kind of fun using all the very happy colors okay there we go there's that let me throw this back in the cupboard Ugh. literally literally throwing it okay now got that okay so what do i have i have Six pieces of paper here, so three for each. I don't know, I might need more. I just don't know. Okay, let's do, let's do this and this together. Okay. And this and this together here. And let's do the blue here and the yellow here. And then we need something right in there. Got that there, but okay, let's do just another case of coffee diet, I think. here in between these two and let's put 
maybe the red one here. And over here. doesn't show up much, does it? I'm going to do one more piece of coffee to hide. Okay. Let's go here. And then the blue is kind of beside that. Okay, let's see. Let's see how those look in the book. I think we should be dry. So let's see. Okay, that's going to come up a little bit. We might have an issue there. But our book is looking pretty good. Okay, and then we're going to put these in there. They're going to be, yeah, I think that'll work. We just need to give this a little, little time to get used to its folding. Okay, so next I want to make a template of the spine so that, let's see, how are we doing time-wise? Oh gosh, we're doing good. Um, let me just look in my scraps and see what I've got here. I wouldn't by chance have an inch and a half, would I? That's a little big. That's a little small. <laughs> Looking for the just right. Boy, that's pretty close. I think we're going to go with it. Okay. Now I need a writing utensil, pen. Here we go. And I think, let's just look here at what we've got. An inch, an inch and three eighths about. Okay, first I'm going to go an inch from the top, just put a little dot there, and then I'm going to go an inch from the bottom and put a dot, and then at four and a half I'm going to put another dot. So that's where we want, that's where we're going to want our lines to be. Sorry, guys. Probably being too persnickety, but you know, I can't help it. tell you my rings are driving me crazy today I don't know why but they're just rolling around okay now it's just a matter of deciding where do I want to okay I think I'm gonna go let's see a quarter of an inch and one line, yeah. Quarter of an inch and one line is over there. Nope. One line. One, two, three, four, right here. 
Okay, that will do. Yep. Okay, quarter of an inch. One line. Right here. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be our thing. Let's get our binding stuff out. I did not expect to get this far today. I don't know why. I just thought that thought the cover was going to take me longer than it did. Okay, we're going to we're going to want black. I think I have a black that's open though. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Gonna need my handy dandy book cradle, aren't I? Love my handy dandy. Got a little something down in there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so first what I want to do is take my little book and I'm just gonna poke in the template my holes. Okay, so that's good. That's done. Now I'm going to do the back signature first just so I can let um, so I can let the gravity help me. We're not quite done with this though because I want to use it to have under my book to do the do the pokies in the okay. Lining up and getting it right where I want it. Go up a little bit. There we go. I'm just kind of um, trying to make the ends here even. So let's go for it. Probably at the bottom of my screen here. Okay. Oh, that was close. Cat like reflexes. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. So we did that. Looks like I could use a little more there. I'm pretty good. Yep, I can see the holes. Okay. Good, good. Now we're done with this, I think. Okay. So this one be our first one. Just want to make sure I have things lined up like I want them. Okay. Get the clampage going. Lampets. How many of you remember the Beverly Hillbillies? I used to watch that when I was a kid. I don't know. I think it was still on nighttime TV at that time. Okay. Oh, I probably want to use my template. Why have it if you're not going to use it? Okay, so... I'm going to put a little mark there where I got this so that both, I have both um, pretty much 
the same. I'm just putting a dot where each line is so that I know to line them up. Okay. And holes in each one. Okay. Now we're going to sew her in. Three lengths of the height of the pages. Okay. Whoop. In there, you. There we go. And there's the hole in the cover. me if I was all up in your grill there. Okay. There you are. And let me tell you, it's not easy to see with black on black there. There we go. My aim wasn't good. That's all that was happening there. Okay. Snug her up. I'm going to go on the opposite side. And we're going to tie her. Tie her up. And I like to double knot just to be certain. Okie dokie. Let's do the other one. Wants to lay open right now. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to close. Thank you anyway. So I haven't mentioned that the Radian Digitals are on my Etsy cinnamon tea. And there's three kits and that includes all the journaly, journaly card sort of things too. That um, we'll get to working with here down the road a little bit. Lining up the dots again. Yeah, so they're they're just, I think they're called Raggedy Ann. Might have the date on them, I'm not sure. Can't remember what I, but definitely they say Raggedy Ann, so. And I should say as well, thank you to all who bought them when I first made them I think they it was it was really happy because they were so popular so I hope you guys are making along with me I know it's taken me a while to get here but um I just honestly I had to recover from the retreat a little bit <laughs> I I was kind of I 
kind of just burnt myself out a little bit, I'm afraid. I just, I worked really hard at the retreat. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I might put a Tim Holtz hitch post closure on this, which, I mean, I don't know if we have time to do today, but we'll get her done tomorrow if not. Okay. Come on. Come through. There you are. There you are. Okay. Just pull that tight. Go through there and there. You don't want to split your thread because if you do you can't pull tight you'll know because you can't pull tight having trouble with this one again for whatever reason come on you just go right on through Got to get the angle right. Okay. Pull that tight. Pull that tight. Go through. And if something that you did made it so you can't pull it tight, like splitting the thread, just cut it and start over. I have had to do that many times, so not unusual. It's just how she goes sometimes. Okay, so there is that. We actually have a little book, but it sure does want to pop open, so I think I am going to put a closure on that. Okay, let's, let's pick ourselves up a little bit. So how are we doing time-wise? Oh yeah, we got time to put in the hitch post. Let me grab one. I'm really debating about the corners because they are roughed up, but I kind of like how raggedy it looks. Hello, Raggedy Ann. Yeah. Um, Look at that, the black went right in the black squares. That was genius that I didn't plan. Um, so anyway, thinking about corners on here too, but yeah, I think I better. In that case, we need to match our corners. I've got more silver than anything it looks like. What does a silver look like on there? Yeah. Okay. I go through corners like crazy. Okay, so can I get that out? No. Um, there's one. You screw. Silver and silver. Woohoo. Okay. Then let's. This is all the, really all the, um, sort of, what you call it, utilitarian sort of stuff on this just to get it to where we can. Do some decorating, huh? Okay, so let's 
mark this. So we are a little more than nine. I'm going to just put that. I'm going to go four and a half and one, like right there. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's do this side first. I'm going to do the three sixteenths. Put a silver grommet or eyelet in there. Okay. And then over here, we're going to do the same. Punch the hole. And then I'll put the screw through like so, and then just screw on the hitch post. Okay, cool. That part is done. Now let's. Um, Find an elastic. Why are you not going closed? Just be an ornery. Okay, and then I just use an elastic hair tie like this. Easy peasy. And we will just thread that through our eyelet. Like so. Like that. And then it will close our book. Yay. Okay. Did that. Now we might as well put on the book corners and I think we'll about be done today. Um, let's use this. Oh, see, I was, I was premature in putting my glue away, wasn't I? Let's see, the other thing I need are my needle nose. They're stuck. <laughs> so, get some Fabri-Tac on there and then we'll squish these into place. I apologize to longtime subbies for the repetition of this but you know it's got to be done it's just part of it okay i like to go from the outside in and squishing them into place like so oh, got a little extra glue there <laughs> I have had such a productive day. Just, just getting her done. I'm excited to have this started. This will be fun. Start on the outside and move toward the inside. Clamped on there well, and then the Fabri-Tac, they won't be going anywhere. Okay. Did 
does take a little gumption to get that started, but Well, this way the corners won't get any more frayed and such. Yeah. Okay. There we go. How are we doing? I think we're we're nearly to time. So since we're at a good stopping point, I think we'll stop there. Maybe let's Let's do a super quick little look. We put on corners, we've rebuilt the spine, we've got our closure, and then we go in and we've got our signatures. So, oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm excited to start playing in this now too. And we've got more pages that we can play with from the book, from the original book, too. Yeah. There it is, guys. There's Raggedy Ann. We've got a start on her. So I'll be doing start to finish on this. So we will, I'll put it aside until our, our next time when we can work on it. Thanks so much for being here. Have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.